If you're looking to buy a red light therapy device, then this is gonna be the most important video that you watch. It could save you hundreds of dollars. So there's five things to look for to make sure that you're not buying a fake device. And unfortunately, there are so many of these out there. What's happened is we now have so much clinical studies on red light therapy, and a lot of companies are relying on these clinical studies as the only evidence for why their products work. Now, what happens in reality is their product is cheap and underpowered and doesn't give you the same specifications as what's in these studies. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you look at these five different points to make sure that it actually will get you the results that you're after. Now, even if the company claims to have all five of these points, there is still the issue and the concern that maybe they say that's what the device is, but it isn't actually in reality. So I'm gonna give you a quick list of five things to look for to make sure that you don't buy a fake red light therapy device. And at the end of this video, I'm also gonna show you how you can test it because even if the company claims, says, yes, we have these five different points, unless you spend thousands of dollars on your own measuring equipment, you won't be able to test that. So I'm gonna show you a free way that you can test these things to make sure that the company is actually giving you a product that works. The first thing to look at is the wavelength of light. So red light therapy devices run anywhere from 600 to 1000 nanometers, but there's very specific peaks within this range that lead to the most benefit. So you wanna look for a device that uses wavelengths between six and 700 nanometers and between eight and 900 nanometers. Now the most commonly studied wavelengths of light in the red light therapy space are 630, 660, and 850 nanometers. The second thing to look for, and this is the biggest corner that gets cut, is the light intensity. So in these clinical studies, they're not using weak lights, they're using very high powered devices. And what a lot of companies are doing now is they're using cheap, highly underpowered lights that would never get you the same results that you see in the clinical studies. So the light intensity is measured in milliwatts per centimeter squared. And you want a device that gives you around 90 or 100 milliwatts per centimeter squared at the treatment distance. Now, a lot of companies are aware of this and they've started using clever marketing to try and trick you. So what you need to do is make sure that the company discloses at what distance they were when they take that measurement. Because as you get further away from the device, the light intensity will drop off. But if they take the measurement right up against the device and they say it is 100 milliwatts per centimeter squared, when you are six, eight, 10 inches away, you have no idea what kind of light intensity you're getting. So you want a device that has transparency where they give you multiple measurements over multiple different distances. And another thing to be careful of is vagueness. I've seen a lot of companies now where they will say more than 100 milliwatts per centimeter squared. So they don't give a specific number and you need to know the exact number for the light intensity because when you're creating a protocol for a specific benefit, you need that number in order to calculate how long you should sit in front of that device. Now that brings us to the next point and this one is a clear indicator that you're buying a device that is not going to work. If the company doesn't give you a customized protocol based on specific benefits, then it's likely that they're afraid to compare their devices to the ones in the clinical studies. As soon as you look in the research, you can see that different benefits have different protocols. You'll use a different protocol if you're trying to improve your sleep quality or to reduce neuropathy symptoms. All of these have different protocols. So if the company is not afraid to compare their devices to the ones in the clinical studies, they will give you customized protocols for different benefits. The fourth thing to look for is the warranty that comes with the product. So LEDs are extremely durable. They should have a 50,000 hour lifespan. Now to put that in perspective, if you used an LED for one hour every single day, that should last you over a hundred years. So if they're not offering you at least three years worth of a warranty, then it means that the other components that are with those LEDs are likely very poor quality and not going to actually be worth the investment because you're gonna to have to replace the device or it's just not gonna be effective because they're not using high quality components. The fifth warning sign that you might be buying a fake red light therapy device is if the price is too good to be true. Many years ago, you used to have to spend $10,000 in order to get a high quality product and you don't have to spend that much these days, but there is still a limit to how cheap you can go. If the product is under two to $300, it's very unlikely that it's actually going to deliver any results because when you're building out a high quality panel, there's a lot of components inside, things like drivers and cooling fans, which need to be invested in and need to be high quality in order to give you clinical grade light. Now, as I mentioned in the beginning of this video, the company could still be giving you the specifications listed on their website, but maybe the product doesn't actually match up to those specifications that they're claiming. So one thing that you must look for when buying a red light therapy device is an extended trial period. 
I always recommend at least 60 days you can try that device. But there's also a difference between a trial period and a trial period. What a lot of companies are now doing is they will give you a trial period where you pay for the shipping to receive the product. And if you want to return it, you pay for the return shipping. And if you think about it, that's actually no risk to the company. So if you see a trial period where it is try the device for 60 days and if you don't like it, you return it and we cover the return shipping, that shows that the company is extremely confident in their product and they know that it will get results. And if it doesn't, they're willing to spend the money in order to get that product back. So if you want to check out some of the best red light therapy devices that come with these 60 day trials and match up to all these specifications, go and check out the MyLight products in the description of this video. And if you have any questions from today's video, please feel free to drop it in the comment section below. Otherwise, I hope that you have a great day further and we'll chat again soon. Cheers.